everybody. We often have a romanticized view of David, you know, David the shepherd boy, David the musician, David the young lad who brought down Goliath. What a wonderful guy he was, and he was all that. Um, but let's not imagine that his life was not without challenges, even problems, lots and lots of problems. And probably the biggest problem in David's life was not something going on in his heart, but what was happening around him. King Saul hated David. He, and, and, and Saul was the monkey on David's back. You would have thought Saul would have admired the young guy. After all, he'd, he'd, he'd got Israel out of a hopeless mess when he took down Goliath. And over and over again, it was the intervention of David that had saved the situation. But Saul was a man who was insanely jealous of David. He couldn't handle the fact that David was young and he was popular. Uh, and so he went after him. Uh, there was one moment when David was playing his harp and suddenly shoo, the spear came over his head. Saul had tried to kill him and fortunately David ducked just in time. And, and it just was a constant puzzle. Why would Saul be treating him like this? Well, eventually he has to flee and Saul is in pursuit. His life is always under threat, always in danger. And he's with some of his men. And in one situation, the, uh, Saul is looking for him and he's brought three companies of soldiers, his best soldiers, to look for him. And David and his men are hiding in a cave, deep, dark cave. They're right in the back of the cave. And Saul is looking for him. And Saul has a, what we call a call of nature, all right? and uh, he has to go and relieve himself and so he goes into the cave and uh, there he does what he has to do and David and his men look at this and he's just sort of a couple of meters away and they whisper to David to his men they say this guy has been so terrible and and wants to kill you why don't you just take him out now get rid of this monkey on your back that is King Saul. And it could have been so easy for David to say, listen, I've had enough. I'm going to take this oak out. But he says, no, this is God's anointed. This is God's anointed. Now there's integrity of that. So what does he do? He creeps forward. And you find this in 1 Samuel um, 24. Um, he creeps forward as, as Saul is, is doing what he's doing. And he cuts a little piece off of Saul's robes that had been put down so that he could do what he needed to do. Uh, he cuts a little section of the robe off. Saul eventually goes off to continue his search, not knowing that he was within meters of David, who had graciously refused to kill him. And Saul is back looking out for David and David comes to the mouth of the cave and he shouts, hey, King Saul, King Saul, why are you doing this to me? You were within a hairbreadth of me and my men. Look, and he held up the piece of the royal robe for King Saul to see. Now, what is that? That's integrity. It's honoring a man who didn't deserve, quite frankly, the respect and honor that David showed him. So what is the thought for the day on that story? You remember the words in Romans chapter 12 and verse 21. Do not overcome evil with evil, but overcome evil by doing good. Now think of that and ask, how does that apply to your life? Romans 12, 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. God bless you.